Today I'm meeting up with my buddy Spencer from Get Lipped Fishing. We're gonna be taking out his kayak to target redfish, trout, whatever bites using artificial lures. I haven't done this type of fishing in a while. I used to have a fear free lure 11 and a half foot. Years back, I used to take it out quite often. Now Spencer's making me want to get a kayak again. Thanks, Spencer. Can you tell us a little bit about that kayak, sir? Yeah, she's a beaut. She's a, she's a 2021 uh, Compass Duo. <laughs> Well, it is a Hobie pedal kayak and they're really, really great for going very long distances. I take it to the Tortugas sometimes in the summertime, like May, and uh, my wife and I get on that thing. You can go a couple miles because you're using your big muscles instead of your little arm muscles. You can go for a really long time. It's great for covering distance. Cool, man. I'm yep. stoked. I think this will be my first kayak fishing video on the channel, so. Oh yeah, exciting. Yeah, nice. man. Looking well, forward to it. We're gonna get stealthy. We're yes, gonna get shallow sir. and stealthy and we're gonna sneak up on some fish. Hopefully side cast to them. Yeah, exactly. They're gonna hopefully, if everything is right, the fish, it's a very low negative tide right now, winter time. The fish are gonna be up tailing and waving at us. So we'll be able to see them, whether there's sunlight or not. I just am waiting for it to warm up a little bit, sun to come up. Hopefully we can get on some tailors. That's epic. I'm That'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah I'm excited, man. Yeah. All right, let's get to it. Today we're fishing with the three inch Slam Shady paddle tail. Uh, Cameron sent this to me, Cameron from Salt Strong. He sent me a pack of these to try out. We're gonna see what the hype is all about. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we catch some fish with it. Looks really good, man. I mean, apparently you can, if, if you get a, if you get puffered, let's say you lose the paddle tail part, you can use this as, as like a, a jerk bait. Let's see. Let check over there. Yeah. First fish of the day and it's a trout. These guys are so underrated. They're so much fun to catch on artificial lures. All right. Little trout, trout ski. Little trout easiest, baby. Oh, that's a, that's a good one. Yeah, Ooh. He's jumping in the boat on us. On the Slam Shady. <laughs> he was just hanging right on the point of that. Right? Yeah, he was. All right. Let's see if the GoPro will uh, pick him up. First, first fish of the day or yeah, of nice the morning. Little, nice little trout to start the morning. Uh huh. Healthy guy in the winter time. Look at his teeth, man. Pretty gnarly. Yeah. Comes right off. Oh, let go, buddy. All right. Just, uh, I'm eating that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He wanted that slam shady, man. <laughs> three and a half inch or a three inch slam shady. Good deal. All right, let's put him back in the water. Dang, man. I'm gonna get the release on the on the iPhone if I can. He's probably gonna flop. First fish of the day, filming on the iPhone 13. Looks good. All right, let's put him back in the water. He's probably gonna splash my phone here, but see ya, dude. Oh, look at him. Nice and gentle. Unlike freaking grouper, man. You try to release a grouper, it's like madness. <laughs> so we make our way to the flats to look for tailing redfish and as soon as we got there Spencer instantly sees a couple tailing redfish and the next thing you know they were like all over the flats guys every five to ten minutes they would be tailing feeding aggressively and, and these these fish are huge man I, I was so pumped like it was a sight to see incredible all right we're gonna head towards the uh, the mangroves and see if we can't find any tailors so what can happen is a lot of them will start tailing and we got to be patient because we got to pick the right one. Yeah. Looks like there's a school over there. Look at this one here. It got spooked. Yep. He's still there. He's still there, dude. Let's see if I can reach him. I think I just cast it right in front of him. Oh, hey, what is that? Oh my gosh, what is this, a trout day? Is it, is it flounder? No. Oh, came off, dang it. that's a flounder. And that's what they do. Oh my gosh. Oh, I see him, I see him. In that pocket way out there? Too, bro. See it in that pocket, that big pocket back there? On it. Yep, Let's go. Uh, 
Let's go. Let's go, baby. <laughs> we are on. About time, dude. Heck yes. <laughs> yes. And that's how it's done, boys and girls. Yes, sir. On the Slam Shady. So oh my gosh. Is it a good one? Yeah, it's a good one. That was the one that was tailing right there. Oh so my gosh. That was awesome, buddy. Yeah, oh my gosh. I'm so pumped right now, man. There's literally nothing better than that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Such a good feeling. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Well, guys, we set out to sight fish a redfish. We knew where they were going to be. We knew the tide was right. The conditions were right. And it all worked out. On the slam, shady three inch, man. Yep. Paddle tail. Paddle tail, baby. That's it. Wow, he is pretty decent, bro. He's, he's, a, good he's a good one. He's not a slug by any means. Not a slug. How great is this, dude? It's almost <sighs> 8 o'clock, 8.15. And literally oh my eight gosh. Yeah, that is a that is a bruiser, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> we saw this guy tailing. Spencer's like right there, bro. 10, 11 o'clock. Then boom. Boom, oh, Good deal, man. He's about done, no? Well, I'm glad you're here, honestly, because we have a little bit of headwind on us right now. And if I was by myself. I'd have to be yeah. pushing with this thing. <laughs> the paddle. Then I see a tail. And then I gotta put my paddle down tap, all while the kayak's still moving. <laughs> so it's actually a little bit easier having a second person on the Oh my tail. gosh, look at that bruiser, dude. This is a tank. First redfish of the morning. So pumped, man. That thing was well over. He's probably around 30 inches. Really, really nice redfish. Solid. For me to be able to sight cast to that fish was incredible. That excellence, man. Got him in. Nice. Get his tail. Oh, yeah. Dude. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. And the crazy thing is, it's like, look, it's not like insanely long. Look how tall his, his midsection is. Yeah. That, that thing is chomping on some stuff. One spot, beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's your turn now, man. We gotta get you one. Beautiful. Slam shady right on the corner of the mouth <laughs> with the what, eighth ounce um, twist lock? Yeah, it's a sixteenth or an eighth. 16th? I think it's a sixteenth. Yep. Cool. Beautiful. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, man. I owe you for this one, man. <laughs> this is sick. Right, this is try. such an experience. We need to put this guy back in the water, man. He's been out for a long time. Solid one. Yes, sir. That is a beauty. <laughs> Friday morning tailing redfish, man. Yeah, it's man. Any better than that? My man Spencer get lipped fishing. Put me on today. <laughs> All right, we gotta let him go. See ya. Dude. That was awesome, brother. <laughs> After I caught that really nice redfish, the wind literally started picking up and it was like pushing us around. It's probably blowing five to 10 knots easily. And it was hard for us to see the redfish tailing. I think they completely stopped tailing as soon as the wind started picking up. Little Troutski. <laughs> These guys thrash like crazy, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Yeah, he he's not even that big. Come here, little guy. Oh yeah, look at him go. Oh yeah. Slam Shady. Getting it done. See ya, he's nice and cold. Doing pretty good so far with it. Man, we're using 15 pound leader, 10 pound braid, super light. Don't really need much um, when you're fishing the flats for, for redfish. I think 15 pound is uh, plenty. Spencer's got a little trout on. A little trout ski. Ooh, okay. Same size as the, the one I caught earlier, looked like, huh? He's got a little. He's, got, like, he's, he's been attacked by a dolphin or something. Yeah, definitely. Wow, I've never seen that. 
definitely, man. Uh, Looks yeah. like it just happened too. Looks fresh. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Talent marks in there or something. Let's see. Gosh. Wow. Look at this. Yeah, it looks like a bird definitely had him. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good guess. Definitely. Osprey. Osprey probably tried to get at him. Poor guy. Yeah, definitely Osprey. Unreal that he got hit by an Osprey and he's still eating. Oh, yeah. He's not worried about it. Yeah, it feels like a redfish. He's swimming towards me, look like. I don't know how big he is, but... He's decent. Is he decent? Yeah, he's decent. He's swimming towards us, man. Oh yeah. There he goes. Not as quite as big as the first one you caught, but I mean it's a definite fish. <laughs> Slam shady killing it dude. <laughs> Stoked man. Oh yeah. Well, that's us. Oh yeah. I was just talking about it. We had no idea he was there, but we saw another fish come out. Uh-huh. Uh, Underneath the boat. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's pretty decent, dude. Oh, he's a good one. Yeah, he's not quite as big as the last one, but he's like, you know, in it's the right here. Yeah. Nice. Oh, this is gonna be challenging here. Charlotte, he's loving the underside of the boat. Yeah. There he goes. Come back, buddy. Getting it. Yes, sir. He hit it on the drop too, bro. Honestly, I've never seen tailing redfish like until today. 100% ever so it was a sight to see let's get this guy released here it's a healthy redfish right there man yeah, that's another really good one actually. <laughs> so much fun to fight look at the blue tail that's awesome pretty nice and cold too all right let's put her back in the water See ya. <laughs> Good deal, brother. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys are interested in the Salt Strong Slam Shady Paddle Tails, you can pick up a pack for free. You just gotta pay for shipping. I'll leave the link down in the description box below so you can check it out. All right, guys, we just got back to Spencer's crib. Spencer's gotta do the, the hard stuff. Yeah, I gotta clean. He's got the fun stuff. I mean, <laughs> he's got he's got to do a little bit of cleaning. Thanks for having me today, man. It was it was so much fun out there. It's my first time actually seeing redfish tailing. It was unbelievable, guys. Unreal. If you get the if you guys get the chance to do that, definitely definitely get out there and experience it. What you don't realize is how cool it is that they're actually yeah, like waving and tail and flipping their tail around. They're eating. They're down there eating. It's it's a visual fishing is probably the most fun when you can see stuff happen, whether it's a tarpon eating or. Yeah, snook or whatever redfish. And these 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 tail and redfish. I mean, they they weren't small. The the tails were like, yeah, like pretty, yeah, hand size, hand size fish. I'm talking thirty inch, thirty five inch fish, yeah. which is not normal, but it's pretty awesome. <laughs> Man, what a sight! Definitely got to do it again. Uh, if you guys have not seen Spencer's channel, it's uh, Get Lipped Fishing. I'll leave the link down in the description box below, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.